In this question, we're asked to use Simpson's rule with five ordinates to find an approximate value for the integral from 0 to 4 pi by 9, log of cos x integrated with respect to x. We're asked to show our working and give the answer correct to four decimal places. So the first thing to note in this question is that we're looking at five ordinates. So five ordinates tells me that there will be four strips because there's always one less strip than there are the number of ordinates. And so using the number of strips n equals 4, I can find the width of each strip. So I'm going to do the upper bound, 4 pi by 9, minus 0, divided by n, which is 4. This will give me that each width, or each strip, should be pi by 9 wide. Next, I'm going to construct a value at a table. So we're going to have n, we're going to have xn, and then we're going to have yn. <clears throat> so five ordinates, we start at n equals 0, because we want it to go up to the number of strips. Uh, let's do, try to do that a little bit straighter. So two, and so we're going just up to three, and then four. And so the first x value is zero, the second value is pi by nine. The third value is two pi by nine. The fourth value is three pi by nine. And the fifth value is finally the upper bound, which is 4 pi by 9. Notice that I haven't cancelled the 3 pi by 9. It just makes it easier to work with 3 pi by 9 on your calculator because you don't have to edit as much when you go back and enter things in. So now, slowly typing in on your calculator carefully, log of cos of each of these values. If we put in log of cos 0, we get a value of 0. If we do log of cos pi by 9, get an answer. Now we're working to four decimal places here, so you should do at least a minimum six decimal places in your table. So 0 0.062202. Noting, of course, that that's a negative. Next, put it in pi by 2. So now you should be able to just go back in your calculator and add the 2 into the display. So we get minus 0.266515. And then putting in 3 pi by 9. Again, this is another negative answer. So I get zero, minus 0 0.693147. And finally, the last ordinate. So if I type that in, just change it to 4 pi by 9, I get a negative value again, minus 1.750724. Uh, Let's just change that to, to a 7, as I said. OK. So once you've got your ordinates, we then need to use Simpson's rule. Uh, remember that Simpson's rule just write out, it's usually helpful if I say that this is integral equal to the integral, it's usually helpful to write out Simpson's rule valid for this question. So just to remind you that the integral can be estimated by h over 3 multiplied by our first y value, which is y0, plus our second last final y value, which is yn. We then do 4 times the odd ordinates, so 4 times y1 and y3, so they're the odd ordinates, and then plus 2 times any remaining even ordinates. Now the first one, 0, and the last one, 4, have done been done, so it's just going to be 2 times y2. Okay. So now once I've identified what my 
Simpson's rule is going to be algebraically. Again, as I said, you don't get a mark for this. It's just a way I like to organize myself so I use the correct values. I'm now actually going to evaluate this. So I'm going to have I is approximated by our width h, which is pi over 9, divided by 3, times by my initial value, which is 0, plus my final value, which is 1.750724, plus 4 times my odd ordinates, so I get minus 0.06. 2202. Let's uh, put that in a bracket. Plus minus 0 0.693147. And then plus 2 times the remaining even ordinate, which is minus 0 0.266515. Okay, and let's close up that bracket. Once you've done this and, and entered it incorrectly, all that you need to do is evaluate it correctly on your calculator. This can be done in one go, of course, assuming that you're confident enough to do it. And once you've done that, the answer asks you to give your answer to four decimal places. So working through that carefully, you should get an answer of minus 0.6173 to four decimal places. Okay then, so let's have a look at part B. Part B says use the part answer from part A to deduce an approximate value for the integral log of sec x. Well, this is all to do with manipulating the integral using identities that we know from C3. So log of sec x dx, that's actually equal to if we replace sec x with the reciprocal function, which is 1 over cos x. Now, if I rewrite this using negative indices, I could rewrite this as the integral between 0, 4 pi by 9, log of cos x to the minus 1. And then using the laws of indices, I can, sorry, not laws of indices, the laws of logs, I can bring this minus down in front of the log. So actually what I get is the integral minus 4 pi by 9 log of cos x dx. So by rewriting that using trigonometric identities and then using laws of logs, what I get is that actually the integral of log of sec x is going to be minus the log of cos x. So using my answer from previous, which was minus 0 0.61, 7, 3, we get that the value of this integral is 0 0.6173. Okay then. So let's have a look and see how the marks are awarded in this question. Uh, there is, first of all, two standalone marks. If you've got five values correct, you get one standalone mark if you get three correct. So up until this point, let's say you get your first standalone mark. If you get them all correct up to the fifth, fifth and final one, you get a second standalone mark. Next, you get a method mark if you have the correct formula and you have correctly identified the interval width of pi by 9. And finally, you get an answer mark for the correct value at minus 0.6173. In part B, you just get one standalone mark for getting that the answer is 0.6173. Okay. Well, I hope you followed the solution and that you're able to mark your question.